worked as a brand of Textron Aviation since 2014. Originally, it was a brand of Beach Aircraft Corporation, an American manufacturer of general aviation, commercial, and military aircraft. Ranging from light single-engined aircraft to twin-engine turboprop transports, business jets, and military trainers. Beach later became a division of Raytheon and then Hawker Beechcraft before a bankruptcy sale turned its assets over to Textron. It remains a brand of Textron Aviation. 1978 Beach Bonanza F-33C Beach Aircraft Company was founded in Wichita, Kansas, in 1932 by Walter Beach as president, his wife Olive N. Beach as secretary. Ted A. Wells as vice president of engineering, K. K. Shaw as treasurer, and investor C.G. Yankee as vice president. The company began operations in an idle Cessna factory. With designer Ted Wells, they developed the first aircraft under the Beechcraft name, the classic Beechcraft Model 17 Staggerwing, which first flew in November 1932. Over 750 Staggerwings were built, with 270 manufactured for the United States Army Air Forces during World War II. Beechcraft was not Beech's first company as he had previously formed Travel Air in 1924 and the design numbers used at Beechcraft followed the sequence started at Travel Air and were then continued at Curtis Wright, after Travel Air had been absorbed into the much larger company in 1929. Beach became president of the Curtis Wright's Airplane Division and VP of Sales, but became dissatisfied with being so far removed from aircraft production and quit to form Beechcraft. Using the original Travel Air facilities and employing many of the same people. Model numbers prior to 11 11,000 were built under the Travel Air name, while Curtis Wright built the CW-12, 14, 15, and 16 as well as previous successful Travel Air models. Advertisement for Model 17 Staggerwing 1937 and 1942 Beach won its first Army Navy E Award Production Award and became one of the elite 5% of war contracting firms in the country to win five straight awards for production efficiency mostly for the production of the Beechcraft Model 18 which remains in widespread use worldwide. Beechcraft ranked 69th among United States corporations in the value of World War II military production contracts. After the war, the Staggerwing was replaced by the revolutionary Beechcraft Bonanza with a distinctive V-tail. Perhaps the best-known Beech aircraft, the single-engine Bonanza has been manufactured in various models since 1947. The Bonanza has had the longest production run of any airplane, past or present, and the world. Other important beach aircraft are the King Air and Super King Air line of twin-engine turboprops, in production since 1964, the Baron, a twin-engine variant of the Bonanza, and the Beechcraft Model 18. Originally a business transport and commuter airliner from the late 1930s through the 1960s, which remains in active service as a cargo transport. In 1950, Olive N. Beach was installed as president and CEO of the company, after the sudden death of her husband from a heart attack on November 29th of that year. She continued as CEO until Beach was purchased by Raytheon Company on February 8, 1980. Ted Wells had been replaced as chief engineer by Herbert Rodden, who remained at the post until his retirement in the early 1960s. Throughout much of the mid to late 20th century, Beechcraft was considered one of the big three in the field of general aviation manufacturing, along with Cessna and Piper aircraft. In 1994, Raytheon merged Beechcraft with the Hawker product line it had acquired in 1993 from British Aerospace, forming Raytheon Aircraft Company. In 2002, the Beechcraft brand was revived to again designate the Wichita-produced aircraft. In 2006, Raytheon sold Raytheon Aircraft to Goldman Sachs creating Hawker Beechcraft. Since its inception Beechcraft has resided in Wichita, Kansas, also the home of chief competitor Cessna, the birthplace of Learjet, and of Stearman, whose trainers were used in large numbers during World War II. The entry into bankruptcy of Hawker Beechcraft on May 3. 2012 ended with its emergence on February 16, 2013 as a new entity, Beechcraft Corporation, with the Hawker Beechcraft name being retired. The new and much smaller company produced the King Air line of aircraft as well as the T-6 and AT-6 military trainer-slash-attack aircraft, as well as the piston-powered single-engine Bonanza and twin-engine Baron aircraft. The jetline was discontinued, but the new company continues to support the aircraft already produced with parts, plus engineering and airworthiness documentation. By October 2013, the company, now financially turned around, was up for sale. On December 26, 2013, Textron agreed to purchase Beechcraft, including the discontinued Hawker jetline, for 
4 billion. The sale was concluded in the first half of 2014, with government approval. Textron CEO Scott Donnelly indicated that Beechcraft and Cessna would be combined to form a new light aircraft manufacturing concern, Textron Aviation, that would result in used 65M$85M in annual savings over keeping the company separate. Textron has kept both the Beechcraft and Cessna names as separate brands. 1943 Beech D-17S Staggerwing Beechcraft Model 2000 Starship Beechcraft 1900D As of July 2019, Textron Aviation was producing the following models under the Beechcraft brand name, Beach Factory Airport, houses Beechcraft's head office, manufacturing facility, and runway for test flights. Thanks for watching.